Today I've got a quick tutorial on a nice menu effect that expands from the header of one screen to the other. If you're finding these daily tutorial videos helpful, share them with a friend. The more people that look at these, the more motivation I'll have to keep creating them. And uh, as always, leave your suggestions for new tutorials in the comments. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got these two screens. This one has a list of content. The other one is a menu that's gonna slide over the top of the content. I first wanna take all these rows and put them in a scroll group. So I'll select all of those and click scroll group. Now I'm gonna open the preview and just verify that that's working nicely. Next thing I wanna do is make a link around the word birds here in the header. So I'm gonna hit the D key on my keyboard. That's the shortcut for draw link. Draw a link around that and target the other screen. Then I'm gonna make a new transition. And in this transition, it's gonna be an aligned screens transition. So I'm gonna click the aligned screens checkbox that puts the end screen right on top of the start screen. I'm gonna do something like this, where the background starts up here, and then it slides down during the animation. But as I do this, I'm starting to realize that I would like for these menu items to be masked off during that sliding of the background. Because right now they're actually visible over the top of the content. It's a little hard to see because they're white, but they're over the top of the content, which I don't want. So what I can do is use a clip group to address this. And to do that, I need to go back into the canvas. So I'm just gonna name this transition. I'll call it reveal menu. I'll exit out of the transition designer. And I'm gonna select everything on this second screen. I'll put it in a group by clicking group in the toolbar. And then I'll turn on overflow clip under group options in the inspector. So now when I resize that group, you can see that it clips off the content. And that's gonna be handy in this transition. So I'll click on the link again, click edit transition. And now I can slide this up. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm at the start of the transition here, but what I'm looking at is the end screen. So I need to hide the end screen so that it animates in. So I'm gonna do that by sliding this up and I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna hold Z and click a couple times just to verify that this is lined up perfectly with that header and that looks pretty good. There's also this little uh, line here, this horizontal line, and I'm gonna have that fade out so that it fades in during the transition. And now let me, I'm gonna hold shift so I can see this in slow motion and I'm gonna play the transition. And that looks great, that's exactly what I wanted. You can see that bar fades in and the content is clipped off um, with that clip group as it animates in, looks great. Now I just need to make sure, because I know that I've got this bar here that's covering over the bar in the start screen. And I just need to make sure that those either look identical or I hide the elements of the end screen. So one way to check this is to press the E key on my, short, on my keyboard. And that's the shortcut to hide the end screen. It's E for end. So I'll press E and that hides the end screen temporarily. I can toggle it on and off. Now by doing that, I can see that the word birds is in exactly the same location in both of these screens. So I can actually just leave it there and that will work. But the arrow is a bit different. And I've actually got a problem where the arrow looks to be in the wrong position in one of the screens, but also I need to account for the fact that it points in a different direction. So I'm gonna exit out of the transition designer again because I've somehow misplaced this arrow. And a good shortcut, if you have a link that's blocking some content like I've got here, you can click hide links in the toolbar to hide the links temporarily. Now I'm gonna select that arrow and shift it over. Okay, I'll turn the links back on. I'll go back into the transition designer and now let me toggle that end screen again. So the arrows are in the same place, which is good. I just need to animate them appropriately. And I'd, li I'd like to have it do a rotation. So here on the end screen at the start of the transition, I'm gonna rotate this thing around like that. And now I'm gonna to toggle with E again to make sure that those are in the same place. And now let's toggle the transition. Cool, so that rotation looks really nice. Just like I wanted. Let me zoom back out. You know, one thing I can do to make this even a little bit more fancy is to select these menu items and slide them up a little bit. And now during the transition, they actually slide down. That looks kind of cool. All right, I'll exit out of the transition designer once more, and I'm gonna copy this link, select the other screen and paste it in, and retarget it to make sure that it goes back. So I'm targeting the back link indicator there, whoops. And I'm also going to select all the menu items here I'll press B on my keyboard to make a backlink on those. And that's just to kind of simulate if I had chosen one of these menu items, it would take me back to the main screen, but it would select the different item. Now I haven't set, I haven't hooked up screens for all the other items like fish and trees and flowers, but this is gonna simulate it pretty well. So now back into the preview. 
I can tap on my menu, tap it again to close it, and I can tap on one of these to pretend that I'm selecting a new menu item. Let's see it in slow motion. Cool, that was a fun one. I hope you found it helpful.